What's going on guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can accurately track your profit, your return on ad spend, your customer LTV, amongst many other things inside of your Shopify store. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and get started with the video. All right guys, so the app we're gonna be using in this video is called Sellerboard Profit Analytics, and you can check it out by clicking the first link in the description or searching Sellerboard in the Shopify app store. So as we can see right now, this is a free app. So definitely no reason not to try it out. So let's go ahead and get to this page. You're just gonna have to add the app to your store, which in this case I've already done. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull up the app in my store here. So once you add the app, there's really not much you have to do other than just confirm your email address and then you'll be brought in here to the dashboard. And typically it's gonna take a couple of minutes for all of the data from your store to sync up and start actually showing here. And then once it syncs up, you're gonna see all of your information right here. So this app is pretty simple and straightforward to use. We start off by being greeted by the dashboard right here. And we can see that it's just going to show us a lot of the primary information and analytics from our store. So we can see information from today, yesterday, this month, we can see the forecast for the rest of the month, and then we can see last month right here as well. And we can edit these by clicking on this right here, and we can see that there's different options. So we can see right here, it's showing today, yesterday, this month, this month forecast, and last month. If we were to change this, we could change this to any of these different options right here, depending on which blocks of time you're trying to see, or you could also click on custom range and create your own. So you can customize the dashboard to make it how you like. And then you can come down here and we can take a look at what's going on with our products today. So we can see here in this example that there was two units of this product sold and it shows that right here. It shows our gross profit, net profit, our margin, our ROI, etc. And we'll see that it's not showing anything for ROI and ads. And that's because we haven't actually connected an ad account in this case, which I'm not going to be doing in this video because this is just a demo store. But for your live store, you'd want to go ahead and connect your Google and Facebook ad accounts because then once you go ahead and do that, it's going to show you the ROI on your actual ads and it's going to show how much you spent on those ads and that's how it's going to calculate your ROI. So let's say, for example, today we would have spent $10 on ads. So it would show $10 right here and then we had $30 in sales and we'd show our profit here. So we would have spent $10 to make a profit of 29. So it would show that our ROI was positive. So definitely want to connect your ad accounts after you sync your data up if you are running paid ads. And now let's get familiar with the rest of the app. So on the dashboard, there are different types of views that you can take a look at. So there's tiles, a chart, a P&L, and trends. So you can click on these different options to take a look at these different views. So we can see chart would look like this right here. If I were to click on P&L and we wait for this to load up, we can see that right now it's showing us a detailed P&L right now of the last 12 months with each month separated. So we can see here we have sales, orders, units sold, returns, our advertising costs, our shipping costs, which we'll be setting up, payment fees, cost of goods, tax, profit, etc. So it's very detailed P&L that's already set up for us right here. And we can see down here, we're gonna see all of our products once again. So this is very convenient. You can come in here and actually change this. So you can sort it by three months, so quarterly or monthly, or you can set up a custom range. So having something like this is going to save you the time of having to actually track all of this stuff in an Excel sheet or a Google sheet, which is definitely a lot more labor intensive, whereas this is going to track everything for you automatically. And then the trend screen is a, another dashboard that we can look at here to get some more insight from as well. And we can sort it through different date ranges again. So that's the dashboard. It has four different views that all provide unique insight. Now we're gonna take a look at the left side and we're gonna go through all of these different options. So first off we have LTV. So this is lifetime value. So we can see this is going to be showing our LTV statistics, which is useful because this is going to factor in when customers come back and buy additional products. So let's say you spent $5 to acquire one customer and they bought a product for $10, but then a month later they came back and bought another product for $10. Their LTV wouldn't be $10, it would be $20. So you spent $5 to make $20 on that customer over 
a month time span. So we can see here, that's what's going to show up right here. So this is how much revenue you are generating per customer on average for the last three months, six months, 12 months, and 24 months. You can see how many units each customer buys on average. So how many individual products they're buying, how many orders are placed. So you can see how many times individual customers are placing orders on your store. And then we have the profit from each customer on average as well. So this is very useful information to have because if you know your LTV, then it's going to help a lot with your advertising because you're gonna know exactly how much you can spend on acquiring new customers and still maintain profitability. So if we come down here and take a look at the products tab next, we can see that we can just take a look at the products here from our store. And it's going to give us some information here such as the tags, cost of goods sold, and this is going to be coming from Shopify here. And you can input this information inside of Sellerboard if you want, but most of the time you're just gonna have it being imported from Shopify as so you're gonna set up your cost of goods inside of Shopify. In this case, since it's a demo store, I didn't actually put anything here. That's why it's showing as zero dollars. So this is just where we can overview our products. And then we're gonna take a look at shipping costs here. So this is where it's going to show shipping profiles. So by default, we have the default shipping profile. And if we open this up here, we can see that this is just going to be the shipping cost equals the amount the client is charged. So essentially this is going to help factor into our profitability. So in a lot of cases, you're going to be using calculated shipping. So the customer would be paying exactly what it costs you to ship the product. So that's where this will come into play. However, if the shipping cost is different from what the customer is paying, then that's when you would need to set up a different shipping profile. So that would be very common in the instance of if you have free shipping. So in order to do that, you can click on add profile here and you can name this like free ship and then you can choose which products it applies to. So all products and then you can choose which shipping method this is going to apply to inside of Shopify. So we can see here I only have these one shipping method inside of this demo store. But if you had a free shipping method, that's where you come in here and you'd select it. Then you can come down here and actually put in how you're going to calculate the shipping costs for free shipping. So let's say your shipping cost varies depending on the weight. So you can just put in your package weight right here and then how much it would cost you. And then you will be tracking your shipping costs properly with your free shipping plan. So now if we click on pick and pack, so this is if your business actually accrues additional expense for having to actually pick the product out and then pack it. So this would apply, for example, if you had like a warehouse and there was a fee for going to actually pick your product like off of the warehouse shelf and then actually pack it. So you could put in the fee for those right in here. And if you do have these type of fees, it's important to fill it in because this is obviously going to impact your profit margin and you want to know exactly how profitable you are when you're selling these products so this would be important to fill out however this isn't going to apply to every single business next up we have the payment fees here and a lot of these are already filled in automatically so we can see shopify payments and paypal are automatic right here and a lot of these other payment options here are already filled in with default values now, if you're using either another gateway or if for some reason the payment gateway you're using is on here, but the value doesn't match, then you can come in here and change that percentage fee or that fixed fee. And this is another thing that you want to make sure is accurate because payment fees are another thing that cuts into your profit margin. So you want to see exactly how much money you're making. And then we have indirect expenses here. So this is where you can add in other expenses that pertain to your business that are not showing up in Shopify. So let's say you have a monthly expense. So you could add a new expense right here. Let's say you use say QuickBooks for your taxes and let's say it's $50 a month. You could choose monthly and it's from today and we'll just make it indefinite and click on save. And we'll see that now this expense will be deducted from our revenue each month in our tracking. And you could also add in one-time expenses. So let's say you just had to buy some random supplies as a one-off and they cost you $150. And you can also categorize it here. So if you wanna add a category of let's say 
office so we'll add this office and you click on save and we can see this is where we can add in these manual costs and this is also important to do in order to accurately track the profitability of your business as a whole so that's how we can add in all of these different expenses in here to make sure our tracking is accurate and then lastly we have reports down here so this is where we can actually just generate reports either in an excel sheet or a csv so we can choose different options for reports right here so by the day by the month by the product by orders or sales by product per month and then we can choose the time period to go ahead and generate the report for and then we just click apply and then we can just download the report really easily so this is good for bookkeeping etc if you need to send this type of stuff over to your accountant or something like that then this would be very useful and then we have the integration so this is where we can go ahead and connect with our different ad platforms so facebook google TikTok, snapchat and pinterest are all supported so all of the most common ad platforms that you'd be using so definitely want to integrate all the ones that you're using your data is going to be recorded as accurately as possible and then lastly we have settings here most of these we can just keep as default but if you want to go ahead and change some of these you can so that's how you can use seller board to go ahead and track your profit as well as your ltv and a bunch of other stuff inside of your shopify store it's a very useful app and right now it's free so i'd recommend checking it out by clicking the first link in the description down below and with that said if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more videos and i will see you guys in another one